The Taylor is currently doing her 15 days of foundation, so it inspired me to get a little foundation-y, review-y. Today we are trying out the Tyra Flossom Face tinted moisturizer. My aunt was wanting me to try it out. This is from Tyra Beauty. She sells Tyra Beauty. I'll have her information linked down below. This tinted moisturizer retails for $28. It's a limited price of $28. Retail value is $32. I don't know. It just says it's a 3-in-1 product that even skin tone hydrates and protects your skin. Blurs imperfections with buildable coverage that leaves you with a subtle glow even Instagram would be jealous of. It contains SPF 30 sunscreen and antioxidants to keep sun damage and free radicals at bay. Plus, it's formulated with anti-aging ingredients for healthier skin over time. Each shade is designed to work with a range of skin tones, so finding your match is easy. That's what we call a skin win. I like the shade range is awesome for darker skin tones. Tyra Beauty herself is darker, well, she has beautiful, darker olive skin. I have the color O2 Biscotti. It's a little bit dark on me. It doesn't look as dark anymore. If you're lighter than me, this will not work for you. Hey, so it is a few days later and I realized I'm stupid. I had two shades of this, so I want to do a quick comparison. So the one I put on is the 02 biscotti and this is light with yellow undertones and I guess all along I had it also in 01 sugar cookie and this is for fair to light with pink undertones so there is a lighter color than the one that I put on and I had it all along but this has pink undertones so I'm just going to use my arm and swatch and see how they compare so you can see this is the one I wore in the video, and this is the one that I should have worn in the video because it has pinker undertones, but it actually doesn't look super pink on me. Of course, way more pink than that, but also way lighter than that. You can see that I should have worn 01 Sugar Cookie. So I'm going to be taking you guys throughout my day to see how this holds up and how it covers and everything, so if you are interested in seeing how this applies, how this wears, then just keep on watching. I've already primed my face using my Too Faced Hangover RX primer, and I also used my Pore Minimizing primer. Those are my two primers that I use every single day, so I apply those so that I can get an accurate representation of how this is going to wear with those primers, because that's what I wear every day. I am going to just apply this to my face. I'm going to put a little on the back of my hand here. It looks a little dark. I am going to apply one side with the brush and one side with a sponge. This is really dark. I'm going to do this side with the brush. So that is one half of my face done. Can you even tell the difference? I'm gonna go back in with the brush a little more, some more product. See if we can get some more coverage. It's supposed to be buildable. So that gave us a little more coverage, but I'm still not seeing a huge difference other than I look really dewy. I do like the way that it applied with the brush. It doesn't look streaky or anything. I'm going to do the other half of my face, see how a sponge performs. I feel like I might have gotten a little bit more coverage with the sponge. This is just one layer of the sponge with two layers of the brush. I'm going in with another layer. I'm also going to go in with a third layer. It's supposed to be buildable, so I'm, I'm testing it. We'll see if it starts to feel really heavy on the face. It's a tinted moisturizer. I don't think it's going to get too heavy. Definitely way too dark for me. I don't know if, oh, you can see it. Yeah, you can see it. <laughs> it's really bad. Let me apply this to my neck. Trying to make it look natural here. Bing, I feel like we should move. 
Okay, so I've moved closer to my window. That's where I was sitting. So this is what we've got going on on the face right now. Being closer to the window and looking in the mirror. It's really grabbing on to some dry spots right here, which I don't understand because it's a tinted moisturizer. The rest of the face looks decent. Coverage, not good at all. This is, we've got a high light coverage right now with three layers. We will call the check-in time 8.45. I'm going to do the rest of my makeup and I will be right back. Okay, it is now 9.15. So this is what my face looks like with the rest of my makeup on. I think it looks so much better with the rest of my makeup on. I'm actually really impressed. I think it looks really beautiful right now. We'll see how it holds up throughout the day. For the rest of my face, bronzer is Hoola. Not cruelty free, just so you know. Blush is Too Faced, Your Love is King because I'm obsessed with this blush right now. Highlight is Becca's Champagne Pop. Eyes are Tartlet in Bloom Palette. Concealer, I use the Kat Von D Locket Concealer under my eyes and then set my entire face with the Kat Von D Locket setting powder. It did not ever set, it was super sticky still, and I saw it transferring onto my hands even, so I had to set it. That is one thing I recommend, set it if you're going to layer it on top of itself. Maybe like one quick layer, like even with your fingers, maybe it wouldn't be a big deal, but since I put on three layers, it was really tacky and was transferring, so I set my entire face. And this is the powder I used to set it. And I think it looks more beautiful set. It also helped to like even out everything. I set my entire face after with the Wet n Wild Photo Focus Setting Spray. And my lips are ColourPop Ultra Satin in Frickin' Frack. I will check in with you guys later with my other camera because I'm bringing it with me. I need to pack. I need to hurry and get the heck home. Update on my face. It is now 12.40. It looks really oily. And it's like creasing. Creasing. Really, really oily. Why does it look so oily? It's creasing like right here. And it finally creased in my smile lines. Never fails. I'm not a big fan of how oily it looks. I will try setting it with a powder. See if that fixes it. See if it like cakes up when you set it with powder again. We'll see. I'll check in with you guys then. Okay guys, so it is now 9.41, so the foundation has been on for 13 hours now. Hopefully these lights can accurately show what it looks like. You can see a lot of shine on my forehead, and a lot of shine on my nose. It's like super oily. You can see the shine on my finger. I put my glasses on. You can see it completely rubbed it off. I mean. It's probably standard with every product, but it kind of just pushed the product upward away from where it was sitting. That also my glasses were sliding down a lot while I had them on because of the product. You can still see my highlight really well. I'm just going to go in with a translucent setting powder and uh, see how it sets after a while of being on. See if it gets cakey at all from setting it. It actually looks really nice being reset. It didn't cling on to the powder and make it look super cakey. So this is something that you can go back and reset if you are really super fond of it and you just got a little oily. Adding a little powder on top of it doesn't hurt it at all. How I would specifically rate this product is kind of how it's intended to be used. This is great for a moisturizing, light coverage look. Pretty much any type of tinted moisturizer is like that. Tyra based her entire brand about being quick and easy for moms and people with super busy lives, and I think that this would make a great product for parents that are just like wanting to slap something on their face not worry about it like super rubbing off. I was not afraid to touch my face at all with this on. I was like rubbing up on it and no transfer came off and it didn't like actually physically rub off my face. So I think this is great for someone who's constantly touching their face, constantly being touched by kids, I mean moms out there. I think that this is great for light coverage with 
a really quick application. It's also great because it has SPF, so if you are wanting to wear like a foundation without SPF, you can put this on for a little bit extra coverage underneath the foundation, and it will add a little SPF for your day because it's important to wear SPF, of course. I would probably rate this product about an A minus just because of the few things that I didn't like. I do think it's a really good product for people who just want a quick application, light coverage. So there we have my entire review of the Tiger Beauty Flossom Face product. I don't have it with me because I'm in a completely different location than I was at the beginning of the day. If you are interested in buying this product, like I said in the intro of this video, which was so long ago, I will link my aunt's information down below. I hope you guys enjoyed my review of this new product. If you liked it, please give it a thumbs up. I'll see you all in my next video, and in the meantime, make sure to spread some positivity. Bye!